Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to make a quick video basically saying kind of to beware of the, um, I guess of ABS. So this is my giant drone frame that I designed yesterday and I made a video about it already. And yep, 24 hours later and it's still printing. It was supposed to take 20 hours to print, but it's still going. So um, one, ABS is, well, it's great because it weighs a lot less than PLA and PETG, but it doesn't like to stick to print beds very well. Um, you can see here, it's peeling up a bit, and that's even using this uh, hairspray with the, it's the number 10, so it's supposed to hold the best, but um, and then it's kind of peeling up there in the middle as well. Fortunately, the rest of the frame seems to be sticking pretty good, but um, I was in this room, just worked on some stuff on my computer this morning for several hours, and I have the windows open, but the fumes from the ABS just kind of make me feel a little bit lightheaded and just makes me feel funny. So uh, make sure you print it in a pretty well ventilated area if you're going to print with ABS. And you'll want to make sure that you have, I and mean, I have a bed temperature just at 75 degrees Celsius right now. Usually 80, 90 is better, but this is such a big bed. I just didn't really want to heat up the room that much uh, for like 30 hours while it was printing. So it's still going. It's almost done. But uh, yeah, so just when you're doing it with ABS, just be careful of, I guess, be prepared for it. Of course, you can make an ABS slurry. I haven't actually tried that myself, but I hear it's good um, to be able to make it stick to the print bed better. Or you can use glue sticks or uh, blue painter's tape. I've also used both of those and they do great. But on such a big surface, I just want to use the hairspray and looks like I should have gone another route. Anyway, that's what's going on with that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.